In a recent short, we talked about possible treatments for septic arthritis, an infection within the joint. One of the points that we highlighted was that the patient is going to need antibiotics. Now, those can be used systemically, i.e. they're going into your arm and going directly into your bloodstream. But in some cases, we will do intra-articular antibiotics. Now, it's very important to highlight in some cases because some of the antibiotics that we'll happily put into a patient's arm are not compatible with the tissues within a joint. Now, what I mean by that is the joint is obviously lined by synovial membranes and also contains cartilage. We may end up damaging those very, very important structures by putting certain antibiotics into the joint. And bear in mind, one of the reasons why we get so worried about septic arthritis is the risk to that joint from the bacteria that are in it. So very important to highlight that patient with septic arthritis does need antibiotics as quickly as possible, but they need to be the correct antibiotics, which are going to be driven by microbiology, i.e. when the joint is tapped, they're going to send some of that fluid off to the lab to make sure that we've got a correct culture and sensitivity, i.e. we know what the bug is and we know what the bug is responsive to. When we've got those two bits of information, we can treat with those appropriate antibiotics. However, if those antibiotics are even slightly risky for the joint, we're not going to go anywhere near that. And we're going to stay with more classical approaches, i.e. giving the intravenous antibiotics, but also taking the patient to this where we may do a washout, literally washing the bacteria out of the joint, again with the aim of helping the body clear the infection and also protect the joint. Follow along for more clinical skills, tips and tricks. Cheerio.